Hello children, Deshiya Vidya Shala Samiti Shumoga welcomes you to the second year PUC Biology Practicals. Well, this is our own college. Now get set to learn your practicals through video classes. This is practical 14, exercise 21, determining the turbidity of water samples. You see, if the water is crystal clear, it's portable, but when there is turbidity, there are so many impact that would be causing to the living organisms there. Anyhow, the aim of this experiment is to study the turbidity of water samples by using Seche's disk. What's the principle behind this? The turbidity of the water body will determine the depth up to which the light penetrates into the water body. If the water body is more turbid, less will be the thickness of its photic zone and more will be its pollution. Well, requirements for this is a Sechi's disk. Hegi the apply the Sechi disk and the other is on the iron disk on the hook on either side. So on one of the sides there we fix a weight and a nylon thread on the other side. So this nylon thread would be on the upper side of it. Then we paint the upper surface of the sechi disc with black and white alternating with each other. Then a nylon thread, weights, then measuring tape, a bucket and water. See, the procedure is like this. You'll have to take a turbid water in a bucket. Slowly immerse the sechi disc into the water vertically holding the thread tightly in the hand. At a particular depth, when the particular depth you reach at the the disc just begins to disappear. Stop, stop there. On reaching a particular depth, the disc becomes completely invisible. Then you will have to mark the length of the thread there. Now, slowly you will have to pull up the thread of the disc and find out the length of the row where the black and white segments of the disc just reappears. That will be the centimeters B. Then what do we do there? The distance between A and B will indicate the turbid zone. Then we'll have to find the mean length of the rope A and B as X and this will indicate the depth of the photic zone. Later on, we need to tabulate it. Well, children, we shall be conducting the experiment now. Well, children, this is Seche's disk. Can you see? To one of the ends, we have just added the weights and on the other end is the nylon thread. Alternating dark and light color has been painted. Now, this is the pail of turbid water. I am uh, just dipping the Seche's disk into the water here. Keep observing, yeah. At this particular point, I am not able to see the Sechi's disc, okay. I seek the help of Mr. Ganesh here, please, Ganeshana. Now, taking out the Sechi's disc from the water, I am going to measure the distance at which it disappeared, okay. It's 11 centimeters. It's 11 centimeters. So A, it is 11 centimeters there. Okay. Now, I'm dipping it again. At a particular point, I'm not able to see the Sechi's disc. Now, slowly, I pull the rope up. Well, at this particular point, I'm able to see the Sechi's disc. Ganeshana. Now let me note the distance at which I was able to look at the Sechi's disc clearly. So it happens to be 8, it happens to be 8 centimeters, okay. Well children, we had noted, see A was 11 centimeters and B was 8 centimeters. 
Let us now note the mean value of this. It happens to be 11 plus 8 divided by 2. So, it was, it comes around something 9.5 centimeters. Okay. The depth of the photic zone x happens to be 9.5 centimeters. So, this is how we tabulate. So, we can have trial number 1, trial number 2 in this way. So, different uh, water bodies, we can collect the uh, sample and then we can just conduct this experiment. Okay. So, next, have a look at the Sechi's disk. Okay. How we had a pail of water in the bucket, right? So, this is how in the water body that we would be checking for the depth. See, photic zone is the zone where the light penetrates. This diagram is depicting the ocean. See the deepest portion in the ocean, we call it to be as abyssal zone. You can see the photic zone is very minimum over here, just 200 meters deep. Okay. In the observation, we can write the value of x will represent the depth of the photic zone up to which the sunlight penetrates in the water body. And this zone alone can help for photosynthesis. Now, what would be the inference that we can draw and how can we discuss regarding this? Greater the value of x, lesser will be the turbidity of the water. And the water is clear. In crystal clear, deep lakes, the value of the x will be very high. This will indicate that the water body has greater photic zone and is very less polluted. So, this is how the turbidity will increase the pollution and reduce the photic zone. Okay, children, thank you.